Hey everybody and welcome to this week's Rocksmith 2014 edition remastered live stream. Uh, my name is Dan Amrick. I'm the community developer. Hi y'all. And uh, we, have, uh, we have a week. Boy, it's been a week. Uh, <laughs> it's already been a week and it's only Thursday. But uh, we're here to play four songs from the Variety Song Pack 6. Uh, you, there's a pretty good chance you've heard most of these songs. Um, and uh, we have a trailer that we'll show you, so if you aren't familiar with them, we'll give you a little preview. We will play all four songs this week in this pack, plus we've got giveaways from Ernie Ball, uh, two of those actually, so if you're looking for new strings and some cool accessories, we got those on tap. Plus we'll be giving away DLC codes for the Variety Pack 6 on, stream, on, on Steam, so if you are looking for just free stuff, you've also come to the right place, it's fine. I'll be joined in a little bit by some more note trackers and, and developers from our dev team here in Studio San Francisco. Uh, but take a look at this uh, this trailer, and then we're going to actually do the first song pre-recorded because Travis couldn't be here. Uh, but we're uh, so we'll be back with the fall of Troy. Stay tuned. With my tail in the air Straight cat strut I'm a ladies cat I'm a bee like Casanova Hey, man, that's that Get a shoe thrown at me from a mean old man Get my dinner from a garbage can Down the alleyway 
No, we we'll do like an intro. Because I yeah, feel like we should do a oh, welcome. Oh, you you want yeah. you want us to talk about this on the stream? Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Hi, I'm not Dan. Well, then let me look up the name of the original. Good. Sorry. Start now. <laughs> now let's keep that. That's good. Yeah, Hi, I'm not Dan because Dan has a foot injury. Yeah. That's uh, it fell off. Mm -hmm. It <laughs> fell right off, and I don't know if they're going to be able to put it right back on. Yeah, not. yeah. He uh, he shrank a bit, just about a foot. Ooh. Okay, we're good. Uh, so I'm filling in for Dan. So it is Just a Wednesday. One. We are not live. Uh, that means that Travis is here. And Shane is actually, you're going to take off like halfway through the day and not be here on Thursday right. or Friday. Why? why? I have uh, Hail the Sun is playing a special event show in Los Angeles on Sunday at the Roxy. We're playing um, one of our full albums, the album Wake, from front to back. That is awesome. I always love it when bands do that. And yeah, it's not common. We've never done it, it's so cool. it'll be really fun. I'm, yeah, that's I'm super awesome. excited. Yeah, so, yeah awesome. But obviously, the special event requires a little more <laughs> rehearsal time. Are there, so. any, uh, are there any tunes that you don't normally play on tour that you're going to play? Oh, that's <laughs> <Tons>. awesome. <laughs> like six. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, Good. Yeah, a couple weeks. The never, show will go well. Played. It will. Oh, actually, I'm so really the excited. main reason you're going to take off is so that the band can practice. Right. Yeah, because um, I imagine you probably have all these songs that you aren't playing on tour all the time. Literally yeah. have never played live. <laughs> and your band recently got onto Equal Vision Records, which... About a year ago, a couple days ago, yeah, which we announced it. Share you share your label with many other bands, including... Well, they're not... Anymore. Yes, but, but this at song... the time of this release, yeah, this one, uh, <laughs> The Fall of Troy, yeah, is an e was an Equal Vision band. So that's what we're going to play, and who note track Now they're just, they're independent now. Um, Good. Jason Kokel actually no tracked this one, but as we all know, he gets tasked with playing the the tough stuff plenty. Uh huh. And uh, that was fun. The TV went out for a second. Yep. <laughs> Let's hope this is still recording. It is. It's morning time. <laughs> Who is awake right now? Oh yeah. Um, no, it it is it is pre <laughs> ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. There's... But I've got the sweater on. Because someone left the air conditioning on in this room also. Yeah. It is it's a very small degrees. room with no heater. And the AC has been on for a long time. Burr. Yeah. It is cold. Yeah. In All right. Here. All right. So let's talk about music and note tracks. And yeah, sure. <laughs> things that are relevant. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do, we're going to play this song. Uh, there's a lot of cr crazy things, I'm sure, in this one that we could talk about guitar-wise. Yeah. Tons. Yeah. You want to do that now? You want to play it first? Let's play it first. Wake up our minds. Let's wake up our, our minds fingers. and our fingers. Let's do some digital and manual calisthenics. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR stuff going on. Yeah. Mouth noises. Uh, well, um, I'll pretend to read the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Pody, Pody can just ask you questions. Pody, ask me questions. Cody, if you were asking me questions, I can't hear you. Yeah, me too. 
This thing was conducting there. Good morning, indeed. <laughs> R-E-M-I-X Remix O-M-G S-G 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 So uh, That was You know Pretty impressive And this, uh, al impressive. Alarmingly <laughs> Fun And complicated It's Yep Those are <laughs> yeah. Good adjectives Yeah Yeah it's And the, adverbs It's the uh, Yeah So it, Um what there's a lot to unpack there. So what of like maybe a couple guitar things you Cup, want to break down? Couple things. Um, oh man, there's so much. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, that main riff. Uh, it follows uh, seventh shapes, mm -hmm. which uh, to to describe that is let's so. It's one. Um, th it's the it's the root, the third, and the seventh. Yeah. In different One, qualities two, of major three, mixtures of major and minor. Four, five, six, seven. So, three, seven. Yeah, there's the minor, major, major. minor, and minor. Gives you some really pretty little, pretty chords. Um, it's but fun in that, that the riff, bass joins that. Yeah, at the very end, the bass mm -hmm. joins it and plays the same thing, which actually is a toss back to the original where the bass played the riff and the guitar didn't. Oh, this is a remake from, well, the guitar did, but. The bass did too. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, the chorus obviously opens up a little more, and it's a little more kind of just straight leady. the The rest of the song is much more riffy, and the time signatures change a bunch. But the chorus ends up being that that kind of accessible thing that you can mm -hmm. just nod your head to, which is really cool. Um, and it shifts, so the first time it goes to, and then the second time it's an octave up, which is cool. Um, nice little patterns that, mm -hmm. that still move and add variety, um, which is nice. There's that whole middle. That part's yeah. cool because you're only bending the G string. You only want you want the that tone to change, but you want these to stay as the A. Hashtag bend the G string. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't uh, that's, know. what else did you? If guys that notice? sounds kind of Simpsony to you, that's the the quintessential that that flat uh, fifth or sharp fourth, however you want to think about it, and and or South Park theme, you know, that's called the a tritone. It's uh, yep. yeah, so yep, but it's yeah. re it's resolving. It resolves over the bend, and which over, is cool. yeah, which is yeah, neat. yeah, uh, and like uh, during that section, like the bass kind of brings it in with that. Uh, 
with Same all the thing, crazy yeah. open strings. <laughs> A little primacy there. It's very yeah. It's, it's dissonant on purpose. And yeah. then it, then it yeah. gets into the. Or is it? There it is. That's it's awesome. <laughs> it's yeah. so much fun. Yeah, but it's, the it's bass part's very difficult as well, but to a super fifth. fun. That resolution's really fun. So overall, I wouldn't call this a beginner song, but. Nope. No. But uh, it's really, really fun if you want to put in the time and learn a completely different type of song for our game. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish I had had more time. I, I didn't start this one until this morning. I was a little, a little. You got haggard. a ninety-three. Yeah, that's not bad. So, uh, mm. well, uh, I feel like we've got like three other tunes to get to, so maybe we should mm-hmm. just do that. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but uh, thank you guys for both uh, playing in the morning times. Yeah. yeah that's what um, we do. Oh, yeah. We got a 93.7 and a 96. Oh, Bass nice. got 96. Oh, 96. Oh. I got an 83. Uh, nice. Sorry, guys. Cool. Yeah. Well, Neat. good job, everyone. Yeah. Uh, let's kick it back live. I'm sure we've got something for you. If we're oh. going to air this first, it's probably prizes. So let's go to the prizes. Prizes are cool. Prizes are so cool. Thank you, Shane. And how dare he only get 93%. On that fall of Troy. It's such shameful. Good thing he's not in the office today, which is, of course, why we pre-recorded that segment. Hey, look at everything that you might get for free today. Uh, this is one of our two Ernie Ball prize packs, and uh, this is a rare occasion because I, for once, don't even know what color the straps are. We ran completely out of the silver ones last time, and uh, so there's a new box that came in, and I have not opened the box so at, at this point, it's like Schrodinger's strap. Like, it, it's both black and silver, and neither at the same time. Uh, but you'll get a strap of some indeterminate color, and who knows? Maybe it'll change color before it gets to you. I don't know uh, in this prize pack. You'll also get uh, a string winder, a uh, peg winder for uh, changing your strings, and we'll send you some new strings to change, uh, both for your guitar and your bass. Uh, and if you don't have both... Well, you know, maybe maybe Santa will bring you the one that you're missing. Uh, Wonder Wipes is a great little pre-moistened towelette cleaning system. Keeps your fretboard moisturized, keeps your strings clean so they don't rust, uh, and, uh, of course, uh, polishes your guitar. So if you aren't using those, you might enjoy that. And uh, picks, everybody needs more picks. How about a dozen picks from Ernie Ball and three of our super special Rocksmith picks? All this can be yours if you just listen to whatever the hell Jason Paradise is telling you to do right now. Um, because he's in charge of our giveaways. What happens is, if you win, he will contact you uh, in a private message here on Twitch. Uh, if you are not following Jason Paradise, then you may not see it right away. Uh, but he will uh, he will ask you for your name, your address, and your phone number, uh, and then he will send those things to me, and then I will send you prizes. That's how it works. As you can see, my leg has miraculously uh, grown back. Uh, they reattached it. Uh, I'm going to be staying pretty much in one place, so that's pretty good. But thank you, Brian, for covering yesterday uh, when I was uh, in pretty bad shape. I'm still in pretty bad shape. Let's let's put it that way. You're uh, in awesome shape, Dan. You know what? Uh, as long as that shape is round, that seems to be <laughs> the shape I'm in. Uh, this is Arthur Von Nagel. You may hey, remember him from previous streams. Uh, and Anthony Martinez over there on the wing. Hi, man. Uh, hey, dude. Hey, dude. Uh, Arthur, you are one of our producers here. You don't uh, note track. You I'm actually not. herd the cats. Yeah, I guess that's kind of what... You are kind of a cat herder. Yeah, so a lot of people are like, what does a producer do exactly? What what doesn't a producer <laughs> that, do? Now, honestly, That's the real question. I, no, I used to have that question. Before I worked this closely on, on the development side, I didn't really understand. It was, a, it was a vague enough term. And what I realized, producers get S done. That yep. is, I mean, honest to God, they <laughs> stick people to deadlines, they, like, problems occur, and they go, I'll take care of that. And, like, whatever gets thrown at a producer, the producer is there to make sure that everybody is producing. If you're, if you're working on a sub-team, did you hit your deadline? If you're not hitting your deadline, what do you need? It's that kind of stuff. It's a lot of on-the-fly problem-solving. That is what a producer does. And there's a lot of unquantifiable stuff that a producer does. Oh, you're a sweetheart. Dude. No, this is this is the truth <laughs> because I think people are like, oh, whatever, you know, like because occasionally they'll see a producer speak in an interview or something like that. It's because the producer knows every last nook and cranny of the product, too. Well, so do you. Well, I do because I've been here for two <laughs> years, but you've been here for like three months. Has it even been three months yet? Uh, I started in early October. Wow, so just coming up on three months, yeah. really. Yeah, wow. it's been awesome. And you've brought your beautiful custom-made bass with you today? Yep, this is a Greg Nelson bass that's um, sort of a prototype on my 
six string that I might bring next week, maybe. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah. Are, are, you, are you talking about the holiday stream? Yeah. The holiday stream? You mean the extra stream that we're doing Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific at 4 p.m. Eastern? Yes, that one. That's a great one to remember. I'll bring that up again later. Don't worry. Um, hey, Anthony. I guess that means you note tracked whatever song we're about to play. That's correct. What yeah. song are we about to play? We are going to play Stray Cat Strut. By the Stray Cats? By Brian Setzer. Oh, <laughs> what's the difference? <laughs> well, this is his 2005 re-record. Aha. Uh -huh. um, sounds almost sounds identical. Almost to identical. Yeah, it really it's, is. it's brilliant. I mean, well, Brian Setzer's brilliant. Yeah. We, uh, uh, as we, <clears throat> we have mentioned before, the licensing process is long, arduous, and not terribly specific. So uh, if we hear like, hey, sorry, for whatever reason, <clears throat> the Stray Cats version of the song is not available to be put in the game, mm -hmm. but we can get you the Brian Setzer version of the same one, and it sounds pretty darn close, that's when we go, well, let's take a listen and see, uh, see if it works. And that was the way that it was with Rock This Town, mm -hmm. which is already in the game. Right. And this is another one probably from the same sessions, one would assume if there sometimes there's legal problems where the artists can't even control their own different stuff. Year, but yeah, yeah, maybe. But so, si similar idea. Yeah, they'll go in and they'll re-record a version so that it's something that they can license out to to places like us. Right. Uh, so yeah, what it is is still ridiculously difficult. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I guess. I mean, ye yes and no. Um, there's some tricky uh, solo pattern or uh, scalar patterns in the solo. Um, it, his style is just so unique and really difficult to capture. Uh, I will do my best. Um, All right. But I had a blast note tracking it. I think the bass line is, is, it, it is very awesome. accessible. What, what you did is awesome. It's oh, thanks, so man. fun and bouncy. And yeah, it's well, this was really originally fun. on an upright acoustic <coughs> bass, right? Yeah, I, right? I felt like I should have brought a fretless or something. No, that's okay. <laughs> we <laughs> got like, enough no, problems. Don't do that. <laughs> I, I got a really good input from Jason Kokel and uh, Travis sure. uh, for the bass part. Mm. And so, uh, yeah. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's do it. I will not prolong your misery. Stray Cat Strut by Brian Setzer. And again, uh, you will notice some differences, but not that many. So if you're bummed that, oh, you didn't get the real version, uh, this is pretty darn real. And uh, hopefully you like what you hear. Yeah, if I miss any notes, that's the reason why. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> it. But you can't get less than 93 because Shane, oh, Shane set the uh, goal. John 1973, 9091 says, I curse Anthony every time I forget to stretch before playing, and then I cramp up. <laughs> Anthony is our ambassador of keeping your fingers limber and loose. Guitar yoga. That's right. Get yoga. Has <laughs> hashtag, no. I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Try the chords that are on the screen. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did I note track? <laughs> That's it. Sweet solo. Danger Mouse 66 says, Is Rockabilly only a UK thing or is it American? Uh, they it's it American. <laughs> yeah, they have it here. And it turned into Psychobilly. Yeah. I mean, much of Rockabilly is based on original American rock from the 50s, yeah. which was itself based on uh, R&B stuff of the time. So yes, definitely an American thing as well, but has been embraced globally. Got 
cat style. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I forgot that part was in there. The <laughs> <laughs> A likely story. <laughs> <laughs> from the note really tracker. Run. So it's like, oh play. yeah, uh, that yeah. awesome lick at the end <laughs> that I just didn't play. You know, talking <laughs> no, about I hit the last two notes. Yeah, good. Anyway. Uh, did you get more than ninety three? You got ninety four percent. All right. Oh man, if I had hit those notes, though. no, that's okay. That's all right. Still better than Shane. <laughs> that's mission accomplished. The only really, well when it comes to Rocksmith, the only competition <laughs> is with yourself. Yeah. And Shane. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, talking about rockabilly being more of a global thing, I just thought of a band that's in our library uh, and available for purchase now uh, that is a really good example of all beat. This is, oh, right. this is a yeah. band. Are, uh, where are they from? Are they, they're not Danish, are they? Are they from Denmark? Denmark? They are yeah. Danish. And they do sort of this hybrid of Metallica mm-hmm. And 50s rockabilly. And, and, and it's a really, like, it's not a blend that I would have thought would have worked. But it's just another example of you never know where people are getting their influences from. And, yeah, like, genres of music jump every, you know, yeah. continents all the time. And they were like, no, these two things make sense to us, so we're going to do it. And it obviously resonated because they're a really super popular band. But, oh, yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, that was... Fun. First of all, the bass line, super, super so fun. God. And so, so cool. Fun. But yep. constantly moving. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And the guitar bits. Uh, There's a lot of a lot, lot of movement, of a lot slides, of, a lot of jumping yeah. around. Um, I mean, that's the thing that makes it fun for me. There's a little bit of everything. There are chord melodies, uh, single note melodies in there. Awesome chord progression, just to jam on. I mean, that's just like a classic, yeah, yeah. Uh, stray cat sort of chord progression. Um, yeah, you can have a lot of fun with that. Absolutely, it's almost bluesy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, Desirar pointed out, he's like, well, if we're going to talk about origins, pretty much everything goes back to Delta Blues. And that's true. And sure. you can hear, definitely hear you the blues You can totally hear that in the chord progression, in those yeah. licks, too. Yeah, um, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Gee, do we have any Delta Blues in our library? Did we maybe have some Howlin' Wolf? Uh, or, I think uh, we do. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if that calls, uh, qualifies as Delta Blues, but uh, I know we have a lot of blues in our library, too. Yeah. We have some. We're always welcome you're always welcome to suggest more at bit.ly slash RS requests. Um, hey, thank you both. Thank of course. You. Thank you. Thank uh, you all. We're going to take a short video break and come back with a, uh, a third song of our three songs. And while we take this break, Jason Paradise, our community manager, hanging out with you in Twitch in the chat room, is going to give away five, count them, five codes for the Steam version of uh, the Variety Pack 6, which is what you're seeing today on our show. Uh, so if you want to win some free Steam DLC, follow his advice in the chat room. Take a little look at this and we'll be back soon. Thanks for tuning in. My first guitar I got only had a couple of strings on it and uh, some of the tuning pegs were broken off it. My cousin had bought it at a, a swap meet or whatever and brought it over to our house, asked him if I could borrow it for a weekend and I never gave it back. When you play a song that people love, you get an amazing reaction. You impress people. I think the first part of learning guitar is knowing that it's possible, realizing that it can be played by a mortal, and some of the best guitar players happen to be human beings. Playing any instrument is not easy. It hurts like hell when you first start playing. It takes a lot of dedication and a lot of work. Having something like Rocksmith when I was a kid would have been something that I would, would have been very interested in. Video games in general are amazing learning devices. Rocksmith is interesting because you've got world-class game developers applying themselves to learning software, in this case guitar. When I learned how to play guitar, I mean, I was looking at, at tablature and static notes on a page. With Rocksmith, there's no comparison. It's very much like playing a video game, but it's learning software that is much more than that. It's really interactive. It's got a lot of visual feedback. It's fun to use. There are lots of different ways to play the guitar, and the group of songs that you have in the game showcases a lot of different styles. Everybody will find something in there that they love to play. Really, for the cost of a couple lessons, you, you get the whole package. Rocksmith is really the most cost-effective way to learn guitar. 
we all can use tools to help our students. The mini games, they're basically guitar exercises that I've taught many times, disguised in like a really fun interactive game. They're teaching you little tiny nuance based things that you kind of have to know as a guitar player. If the difficulty level exceeds your ability level, it's frustrating. If your ability level exceeds the difficulty level, you're bored. Rocksmith has a dynamic difficulty system that matches the difficulty level of the program to your ability level. So you can have that nice flow experience and pretty soon you're performing at a really high level. Early this year, RSG was commissioned to or conduct a Rocksmith project. We pre-recruited approximately 200 people nationally, gave them the software to use at home for three weeks. A large majority noticed a significant improvement of their guitar skills. They were more familiar with the fretboard, their speed and movement on the fret improved significantly. They learned new chords. Rocksmith was considered the fastest way to learn guitar. Rocksmith is, is a great way for beginners to start learning how to play guitar, but it's not just for beginners. Advanced players can always get better. It's the quickest way to learn to play guitar. I like the session mode. You can actually kind of play with a band, and it plays to your touch. As you play softer, it gets softer. As you play harder, the volume increases. You know, you can blow up the neck and it can show you all the good notes to play within that scale. Also, I like the fact that it throws you some changes every once in a while, you know, like a band might, you know, go to D. All those little tiny things go into making you a guy that could probably go out and play guitar in front of people. It's a great tool to learn how to play. It would have been kind of cool to have something like that when I was learning to play guitar myself. Now, obviously, that said coming October 2013, so hopefully by now you have tried session mode. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, and, and in fact, all of the stuff in uh, Rocksmith 2014, hopefully you've, you've played because it's 2016, and now we have Rocksmith Remastered. In case you're wondering, uh, Rocksmith Remastered is a free upgrade to anybody who uh, already owns Rocksmith 2014. You probably have that by now, too. But we added some tweaks and some changes and some updates and stuff. We are... We are still out there trying to make this game even better for you, the guitar playing public. My name's Dan Amrick. I'm the community developer on behalf of, uh, of Rocksmith. And that, that disembodied thumb belonged to Sam Schwartz, who's running the Wheels of Steel. Say hello again, Sam. There we go. Uh, he's putting his thumb in front of David Stevens, who is our QA ninja. And of hey, course, man. Hey, man. Uh, and Brian Pody uh, here in the middle, uh, off the Wheels of Steel. Hi. Yeah. Uh, hey, you get to play your Ibanez. This is I the do. first time you've gotten this to play the Ibanez. Ibanez. It's not the first time either. <laughs> okay, it's not the first time, but it's the first time that it doesn't have a, a, a post-it on the headstock. That made me so furious, I'm man. That was, I was so angry. I couldn't help we, it. Uh, it said not Ibanez on it because I said, you, you know, we should, be, we should be representing Epiphone as much as possible because they've been really nice to us. And he's like, screw you, I like Ibanez. So, I, just, I needed... That. I understand. No, yeah, okay. It's 24 frets. Do you need 24 frets for Suffragette City by David Bowie? Seriously? Did Mick Ronson? Do I? <laughs> I don't know if Mick Ronson is playing up on the 24th fret. Well, he played it on a Les Paul, I believe. So I think you're right. So uh, if only we had a Les Paul around here. I don't know about that. Golly heck. Let's not get crazy here. Uh, you are jumping on on guitar, and you're playing the bass on Suffragette right. City, and you did this note track then. Sure. No. No. He's lying. This was a Travis joint. He this lies. was a Travis joint. Travis is... Oh, that's right. He gave this up because he's not here today, and he agreed to, to do Fall of Troy just so he could be on the stream. Yeah, well, because Shane wanted to do Fall of Troy and right. is not here. As and Shane is also not here because Shane's in the studio again, isn't he? Uh, they have a gig where they're playing one of their older albums front to back. Oh, okay. So they need a little practice to yeah. remind yeah. themselves of their mm -hmm. own brilliance. That's pretty great. Yeah. Uh, so why did you choose to do bass since we usually see you play guitar on because the stream? Because David said he wanted to play guitar. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, then, so that means, just means you're a nice guy. That works. That, that works fine. I'm Travis today. Uh, why did you want to play uh, Suffragette City on guitar? Uh, this is far and away my favorite Bowie song. Oh, all right. Well, that's a good reason, too. Excellent. So and do you know how to play This song it? will get stuck in my head for days <laughs> on end. I kid you not. Now, is this going to drive it further down, or is this oh, going to be like cleansing? Because Oh, okay. Yeah, right. no, I'll, 
I'll hear this through the holidays. Oh, great. Just yeah. with, with sleigh bells behind it? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. You know. Sure. <laughs> um, is there anything that you want to say about playing this? Did you play it before Rocksmith? Is this one something that you've brought uh, you some know, I didn't knowledge of the song? I learned it myself until, until we worked on it. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I never actually sat down with it. And you I'm call really yourself glad a I big did. fan of the song, and yet you didn't even bother to well, learn it. Well, Bowie's sort of sacred. All right, okay. Yeah, uh, you, I, you never, I never really. You didn't, into you didn't it. want to destroy it, I understand. Right, right. Um, all right, well, do yeah, you want to just play or you want to. Well, this one's give all about some... feel. And oh, all right. Gonna look, it's going to look like there's a lot of notes on the screen. There mm-hmm, is, mm-hmm. but it's really all about the feel. Uh, and it's, it's, you know, you're, you're the jumping rock and roll sort of chord that yeah. it happens in a lot of music. Uh, right. Um, yeah, big stretch, five frets. Oh, great. Yep. Well, have fun with that. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> Damn it. All right. This is, uh, this is David Bowie from our, our pack here. Suffragette City, available now in the Variety Song Pack 6. After this, we'll do a little Q&A. So uh, don't ask your questions yet, but get your questions ready to I ask. Thanks, Pointy. Pardon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't stab Pody in the ear, please. Profit Cable says 9 out of 10 Rocksmith developers are sellouts, but the 10th plays an Ibanez. <laughs> I'd just like to point out that Rocksmith works with all brands of guitars. That was all right. That is a fun it's song. So fun. That is it is like all the way through, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, at 96. percent So that makes you better than Anthony. I miss even the better. Scrape. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> we'll 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 allow it. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's fun, and that bass line is super fun, and, and yeah, Pody got 99 percent on that bass line. By the way, 
this was my favorite Beatles song. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> David oh Bowie. boy, now that? that's true. Uh, <laughs> holy cow! Yeah, I wonder how many other people have similar stories of their favorite Beatles song being not the Beatles. Um, yeah, that's cool. That's a fun song. Are you sticking around to do Q and A? Because now's the time I'm going to tell people to do Q and A. I can. Okay. If you have any questions specifically about our Q A process, uh, it's the Q and A. Uh, of QA, I suppose. Uh, so since David's here, if there's anything you want to ask him, uh, start chatting, chatting now in our, in our stream, and I will, uh, I, will check the, uh, uh, I will check that. But I also want to do a little, uh, a little new business while you guys start seeding the chat with questions. Um, next week, we're going to have two streams, uh, and the week after that, we're going to have one weird stream. So uh, on Thursday, we have our standard stream, same time, same channel, same thing that we're doing right now. We'll be doing this next week for next week's uh, new DLC. And then on Friday at 1 o'clock Pacific, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, which uh, I don't know off the top of my head when that is GMT. Uh, that would be uh, eight hours ahead, so I guess nine GMT. Does that make sense? Two hours earlier than usual. Well, then, yes, then it's nine GMT. Uh, we are going to have our holiday special. This has become. Uh, this will be our third holiday special, actually. Uh, and what we do is we ask the note trackers to pick one of their favorite songs that was released as DLC in the previous year. Not necessarily their absolute personal favorite song forever, but uh, maybe something that they worked on that they note track that they're very proud of, or just a song that, like Suffragette City, they've loved since they were young, and they got the opportunity to play it in Rocksmith, so they just want to sort of have fun and play that. So it's pretty loose, but we have a lot of extra giveaways. We have giveaways from Marshall, Orange, Ernie Ball, uh, I'm going to be giving away some signed Rocksmith posters from the Rocksmith Live gig. Uh, not too many of those uh, sticking around. We even have some prizes from South Park. So if you are really just here for the free stuff, uh, next week, Friday at 1 p.m., it'll probably be about a three-hour stream. Uh, looking at it, we have 10 songs to play. Uh, one of them will be pre-recorded because Travis can't be here on Friday, so we're going to pre-record Travis's next week. Uh, and... Uh, and then the following week, on our normal stream time, most of us will be out for the holidays. But uh, Chris Wu, being a really nice guy, our international product manager, said, well, I'll be in the office. I c if you guys pre-record the entire stream, I will play it back at the appropriate time. And uh, that way I don't have to do it from home on my crappy internet connection, which doesn't seem to like to, to do anything with streaming. So we will have a stream on the 22nd, but it will not be live. The entire show will be pre-recorded. Um, but we'll still have the giveaways, as long as Jason Paradise can still make it, I guess. Um, so uh, then after that, we have the week off, uh, the week of like the 29th. Uh, we'll, we will not be streaming that, that day. Our whole office is closed. It's all good. So, um, yeah, so that's it. So j please join us next week on both Thursday and Friday, and, of course, watch our social media. I'll be... I'll be Carefully reminding everybody of all of that stuff uh, again. Uh, let's see. Uh, next week is the last song pack or second to last is Hypersonic. Uh, so next week and then the week after. And then, yes, there will be no, no DLC release the final week of the year. Uh, everything basically stays as it is. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think you guys will probably like what we have in store. Can't say anything else about that. Except that there will be puzzles uh, because our friend uh, uh, Rolling Stone 222 from our forums, has gotten so good at making at, at solving the puzzles that I used to make and that Jason makes that uh, we just asked him to start help making puzzles himself for us. So he, uh, I said, hey, you know, like, you know, the holidays are going to be kind of weird. He's like, here's three puzzles for the next three weeks. <laughs> wow! Okay, thanks, man. Uh, so what is next week's DLC again? New music. You're going to like it. That's what it is. Thank you very much, Baride888. Nice try. Um... Somebody above, uh, Got Nate, says uh, somebody above was asking if there was ever going to be a USB-C version of the real tone cable. Not likely. Uh, USB-C is a new standard, but uh, sort of, you know, the, the U in USB is universal. Yeah, does uh, anybody have a USB-C port? Uh, Macintosh people do. And our game does run on Macintosh, so I well, get where it comes from. New, I'm not going to. I hear there's a dongle yeah, for that. I'm not going to get it. Yeah, there's probably a dongle for that. So, yeah, uh, uh, similarly, somebody on Twitter this morning uh, asked, uh, I wish you guys would make a right angle jack version of the real tone cable. And I forwarded them a link to, well, yes, yeah, so if you're Brian Pody, you cut it <laughs> off and you resolder it yourself because he's handy. If you're more like me, you go to Amazon and you get the little Hosa quarter inch adapter for $4. And then that way, you know, he said, you know, like, man, like, I've got a Les Paul, and, you know, it's got that side jack. I'm like, well, yeah, I, I got a Les Paul, too. I 
played the Les Paul. We play the Les Paul every week. You We've, could also you know, just do you know female to female and connect a guitar cable to your real tone. Cable that's true. Yeah, you can always extend the real tone cable with uh, a coupler or something like that, and and use uh, an additional standard guitar cable. That's fine. It's just looking for the sta- the the purest guitar signal you can send into Rocksmith is all it's looking for. So. Uh, yeah, as long as you've got a real tone cable as the last point in your chain. I mean, obviously, the less connections you have, the cleaner the signal is likely to be. But if you're talking about something that simple, I've heard a lot of people say that they use a coupler yeah, because yeah, they'd I've, rather I've use a. People say you know, that I have not tried it. Yeah, a, a lot of people. A lot of people are saying. I've tried uh, it. The internet. I can says. confirm it works. Yeah, the internet. I believed it because it was on the internet, and also because David Stevens said it. Uh, let me take a peek and see what else. Uh, people are asking about, is there another patch for remastered in the works? Nonstop play on bass is really buggy about what's fingered and what's picked. Well, the game should not make any change in that, right? Like, nope. you can play things that say that the fingered or picked that shows up when you choose uh, the song in uh, on the bass path is just a suggestion. Um, it will, I mean, you may disagree. You may say, like, hey, I've seen that guy play it uh, with his fingers instead of picked. Uh, in which case, that's okay. Uh, play it however you want. Really doesn't matter. It's more of if you're looking to get the authentic uh, feeling of it, or sometimes the tone, because obviously a picked string feels different or sounds different than one that you might play with your fingers. But yeah, if, if you're running into bumps there, um, calibrate. Yeah, uh, that's a good the point. The difference between calibrating with a pick and calibrating with your fingers is is kind of substantial. Yeah. yeah. And what platform and steps to reproduce? If it's <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> yes, we like uh, information. That's that's worth bringing up because uh, every once in a while, and by every once in a while, I mean pretty much daily on Twitter, I get somebody say, "This thing doesn't work. Fix your game." And that's honestly so little information to go on that, as much as I want to be able to say, "Well, maybe we can help you out." Uh, first of all, uh, Ubisoft support at Ubisoft support on Twitter is right there. Like, you can go directly to them because that's all we're going to do, generally, is is forward you on to them. Second of all, do let us know. Remember, uh, Rocksmith is on six different platforms, and we don't know which one you're playing uh, until you tell us. Uh, furthermore, there are also some differences uh, in, like, say, uh, the DLC comes out for PlayStation platforms a little bit later in the week. It comes out on Wednesdays uh, uh, versus Tuesdays in North America, on PlayStation platforms. That's not something that we can control, but if you're asking, how come I can't find the DLC uh, in the shop? You guys said it was available now. If it's Tuesday and you're in France, then you wouldn't find it, and that's the kind of information that we need to help you get the information that you're looking for. So uh, if you have bugs, first of all, you do have help. Support.ub.com is another great place to go. Uh, people are there. They can help you work out some of the, the, the bugs and the issues, and if it's a, it's a legitimate software bug that might, say, be David's fault as the QA <laughs> ninja... Uh, then they're going to give us that information. We actually have a dedicated mailing list uh, just to people who are involved in making the game and and the customer support team that reports back. There are leads on our CS team, and uh, Jason uh, Paradise and I are in that meeting every week. We have a phone call, actually Thursday mornings, uh, and that's international, plus we get updates in email all the time. So this information that you give to us, as detailed as possible, as, as, as Pody says, uh, but it does not go to waste. Uh, it goes directly to the right people. And, uh, you know, some bugs are easier to squash than others, but uh, we, are, we are dedicated to trying to make everything work the way that it's been designed to work. Uh, oh, somebody says, uh, sorry, Nargani123 uh, says, remind Anthony of his promise to play lead on Tornado of Souls. <laughs> Chat remembers these things. It's funny you mentioned because yesterday I put together the first draft of the set list, and that includes, like, you know, what we're giving away when and all the breaks and that kind of stuff for the, the stream for the holiday stream that's next Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific and I went to Anthony and I said do you really he goes absolutely I, I'm keeping my promise so yes <laughs> I won't tell you what anybody else is playing but Anthony swears he will make good on his promise to play Megadeth's Tornado of Souls which was his song that he note tracked and that pack came out in January or February yeah. January. and he didn't just the circumstances led to him not being able to get that song to the level that he wanted to to play it live and he swore on the air and you can go back and watch the replay that he would play Tornado of Souls for the holiday stream and I'm like I'm not going to hold you to that he goes I will 
<laughs> and uh, those of us that know Anthony in real life, he is one of the most honest, genuine, straight shooting guys I've ever met. So when he made that promise, he was not going to break it. And he said, yep, I'm, I've been working on Tornado of Souls throughout the year. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm, I feel like I will have it in, to- in time for Friday's stream. So if nothing else, tune in for that. He's going to keep his promise. Uh, but he's right. The chat never forgets. The chat never forgets. Every Friday. mistake I make, <laughs> the chat never forgets. Uh, okay, so um, can I uh, – last question just because it's the one that shows up here. Uh, Jocks Strapped says – can I play my DLC offline on Xbox One? Yes, I believe you can, uh, as long as your licenses are in order. If you are finding that you go offline with your Xbox One and you can't play them, then you do need to reach out to Xbox Support, and that is at Xbox Support on Twitter, or, or uh, just go to Xbox.com and click on Support. Uh, but yes, you should be able to, uh, to once you've verified that you, that's your account and you've downloaded it and you really do have the legal rights to it, you should be able to pull your Ethernet cable, take that with you maybe for the holidays. Uh, I, I assume that you're just saying, I'm going to bring my Xbox One with me on my holiday vacation and dazzle everybody with my awesome guitar skills, and they'll all go, wow, that's an amazing piece of software. I think I'll go buy that too. So yes, absolutely. <laughs> we want to see you play these songs offline too. Uh, if you have other questions, uh, we can answer them online. Uh, I've mentioned Twitter several times. We're at Rocksmith Game on Twitter. Uh, if you want to ask studio-specific things, it's at Ubisoft Studio SF on Twitter. Uh, plus, we're on Facebook as well. Go to uh, facebook.com slash rocksmith. Uh, lots of questions and answers there. We post daily. Uh, Jason Paradise and I both keep an eye on that. Uh, Black Widow does as well. So, uh, you know, your comments don't always get answered, like, in real time. But we do go through and sweep through and see. And that's also the Facebook page is where you can request songs for future DLC. And we do have future DLC coming. It's really good. Um, thanks, for sitting here while I talk to my <laughs> lips off. I really appreciate uh, your patience. Uh, let's show it in case you missed it. In case you missed it. They did a nice job reattaching your foot. Yes, thank you very much. It feels, I mean, I just Are wish they sure hadn't. it's his foot? I no. wish they hadn't reattached it, it backwards. It looks really small. We know it's a foot. Yeah, well, you know, idle feet are the devil's plaything, so yeah. I, it's going to be like that. Yeah. Uh, hey, you know, in case you missed it, there. of course they're small feet. Um, in case you missed but it, it looks smaller than the other one. Well, you know what can I say? Uh, I'll I'll reinflate to eighty psi. I don't know. Um, so we have quite a library of songs, uh, and uh, hopefully you have noticed. But there's probably some things that maybe you didn't realize that we had. So before you go and request, first of all, there is a, a comprehensive. Uh, list of those songs on our website uh, at rocksmith.com. Uh, and also, of course, the fan community keeps pretty good tabs on this. Uh, the Riff Repeater uh, is a place where you can find an exhaustive list of all of the songs in both Rocksmith 1 and Rocksmith 2014. Uh, and, uh, of course, even Wikipedia has its very own list. So, uh, But there's also uh, all these things that we, we want to bring up to you as well, such as Muse and System of a Down. These are both uh, perennially pretty popular bands. Uh, people that are just learning how to play guitar uh, often say, gee, I wish I, I could play Muse. Oh, you can. As a matter of fact, we have a, a five-pack of Muse. And we have a three-pack of System of a Down. And uh, these things can be yours uh, just by going into our in-game shop or going to the platform of your choice, uh, you know, Valve, the Steam shop. You can, you can just search for these songs or these band names or for Rocksmith and find all of this content on the Xbox Store, on the PlayStation Store, or in the Steam Store. So uh, we encourage you to spend money with us. Um, I, I'm going to be just straight up mercenary. Please buy some DLC for yourself because... Uh, do it for you, man. Yeah, don't do it for us. Do it for you. Don't do it for us. Hi, do Sam Schwartz. You. Hey, what's up, Dan? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I, was, I, I heard your... Yeah, I saw your foot being yeah. hurt, and I was, I was upset. So, yeah. here Were you at the party? Oh, dude. I was. <laughs> Here's what really... I heard you I do some songs that I was note-tracking. Oh. And I was like... Uh, <laughs> and I was like, whoa. Yeah. Uh, I really... So I don't know what Brian actually said in the pre-record segment. We had some guests in the studio mm-hmm. when we were rolling that. So here's what happened. My old 80s band was hired to play our 1980s-themed party because it was Ubisoft's 30th anniversary. The company was uh, was established in 1986. So our holiday party's theme was 1986. 
And as luck would have it, uh, I used to sing in an 80s cover band uh, for five years. And when they found out they were getting the Ubisoft gig, they wrote me and they were like, hey, man, don't you work for this company? I'm like, yeah, that's fantastic. And they're like, you want to come up and sing a few songs? I'm like, well, yeah, sure. That'd be fun. And, you know, a lot of people like over, you know, outside of the studio don't know we that I sing. We got rolled by Dan yes. in person. Uh, it was amazing. <laughs> yes. We actually, really I happened. actually did sing all of Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. But uh, the song that I got talked into singing that I wasn't really up for singing was uh, Jump by Van Halen. Oh, yeah. That was great. Man, your guitar player is really good. Yeah. Bisty's very they're, good. They're all, I mean, the whole band is really great. I really um, enjoyed playing with them. I was yeah. very fortunate that I was playing with a group of people that were really there for all the same reasons, and they were all willing to put, I always used to say that we put just enough uh, effort into it that we were able to get really good gigs at like casinos and weddings, Yeah, but not so serious that people were like, made the whole thing a, a, a negative experience. Right, it right? wasn't, yeah, it, it was like, it's still fun. Right, right? it it's was still, still fun, and, and we, yeah. and you know, and we had fun doing it, but we took it seriously so that we sounded good and we cared that's about all, the job that's, that we that's did. That's a hard that was, balance, it, Yeah, it and is. doing it with a six-person band was even harder. Yeah, so. I, I, can, I can relate. But <laughs> to celebrate doing Jump by Van Halen, I decided... I'm going to do one of these awesome, my wife has since identified it as the choreographer that she is, as a hitch kick, for those of you that know dancing. But basically, it's the kick that David Lee Roth does in slow motion in the jump video. Right. Like, he leaps with one and then kicks out the other foot. I did not miss that. Well, I did I not saw. expect to do it. I didn't <laughs> tell anybody I was going to do it. The guitarist who's standing next to me actually told me after the gig, he goes, your kick is forever burned in my mind. And I'm like, ha, ha, ha. And then as the days went on after this gig... I apparently landed really hard on my right heel. Right. And uh, now I have given myself Achilles tendonitis or bursitis. The doctors are not sure. Oh, All cool. they told me is I have to wear an ankle brace. Oh, uh, nice. And I have to stay off it as much as humanly possible for the next week. Yes. Uh, and I'm just on Advil and ice, and oh like, there's really not a lot. It's it's not like it didn't come detached. It's nothing no, 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 terrible. It's, yeah, I know. It's, uh, well, I got it's, lucky, what? but. I'm in a heck of a lot of pain. Right, yeah. Well, it's, your, your tendon's inflamed, right? <laughs> right. And so it's like, yeah. no matter what it is, and so it's rubbing against, like, whenever you move it, that's yeah. why the head So I can't, I yeah. basically am having trouble putting weight on it. So uh, I have a cane. Yeah. I'm walking around on a cane. Nothing makes you feel spry and young like a cane. He does look really cool, though. It is, <laughs> it is a pimp cane. It's an eight ball cane. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. over there. I'm not. Oh, wow. It is an eight ball yeah. I was wondering yeah, what that yeah, was. It's right over there. <laughs> I'm not going to pick I it up. I was like, what are you having on your Mountain Dew? Because my line of sight, you know what I mean? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, my Mountain it's okay. Too. It's the, okay. The Mountain Dew is what keeps me feeling young and uh, radical. Yeah. Nothing like a little yellow five. Yes. <laughs> I um, don't know what Brian actually told you, but that's the truth. That's why right. my, uh, my, my wheels are broken at the moment. And uh, I can do everything else. I, I actually just uh, sat at my desk at home and at work for the last three days, and I just awesome. worked on a lot of sort of writing things that needed to be done. And I keep oh, touching sorry. your I keep it's touching okay. your it's, knee. I just I don't hey, have man. anywhere else to put them. That's okay. I, <laughs> what are we playing? Let's play music we're playing, again. We're playing uh, Hey Jealousy by the I was, Blossoms. So I have to do a special shout-out real fast okay. to uh, Elisa Rockdoc, okay. uh, those of you who know her from Twitter. Elisa actually is uh, called Elisa Rockdoc because she is doing her master's degree. She's getting her doctorate uh, on music and video games. Oh, cool. So she is uh, she's a longtime friend of the of the, uh, the the show and the franchise. Her band Crimson is one of the unlockable tracks in Rocksmith 2014. Oh wow, she's super cool. But she has been asking for literally years. When are you guys going to get the Gin Blossoms? Yeah, and of course, you know everybody out there has a as a secret band that they're like, I just all all I want is that band, and it will validate my entire existence. Right. So I sent her a note on Friday, an email, and uh. I said. I can't wait to tell you this. I've been holding on to this for a while since I knew that it was being note tracked. And, you know, I said, finally, on Tuesday, you will be able to, yeah. <laughs> to drive around this town and have the cops chase you around. Yeah. And she was like, oh, my God, oh, my God. It was yeah, like yeah. the happiest email I got to send. So, so, yeah, this song is it's so tough. It was so much harder than I thought yes, it was going to be. Yes, everybody under us. This is fairly easy on bass, but on it bass is... On bass, it's easy. Yeah, that's and why then, I'm like, playing and it. I was, and I heard it, and I was like, ah, this is going to be a cinch. And then I started to transcribe, and I was like, whoa, this is insane. Like, there's so much going on. Um, and I actually left, uh, like, so there's there's stuff where, like, live, he doesn't do this in the recording, but live, like, what, the rhythm guitarist will be, like, playing, like, D-shaped chords with his thumb and do this kind of stuff. <sighs> and, and, like, so he's, like, that part where it's like, he does that. He does like wow. big, and he's got huge monster hands. Of so he's course. like playing all sorts of stuff. And the arpeggios are just flying 
so fast, and and, so, and I just didn't realize it was that like right. It sounds intense. like it's a strummy song it is. because there is a strummy rhythm part to it. Yeah, but it's not all strummy. It's all right. Like, there, so even the rhythm part has like a lot of arpeggiated stuff in it. Um, so it and it caught me off guard. So it took me a lot longer than I thought I would have <laughs> to do this. But um, man, it's a great song. And and another thing that I think is so interesting about this song. Uh, that blew me away about it was that it was uh, it's made in 1989. 89. I actually thought Which, it was a 90s track. That's what everybody thinks because yeah, like, like right when I told my wife that I was like I was like this is this song was in 89 and she was like but that's the sound of the 90s and yes. I was like maybe this, this is like this is th- part of th- what ushered in the sound of exactly, the 90s. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and that's it, it's something to sort of take uh, to, to take into account when you're listening to it is like it, it really is a big part of that that sound is yeah. this band. So um, don't underestimate the gin blossoms and don't underestimate the guitar part. Yeah. I it's, wish you luck. No joke. Yeah, that's why I brought my my handy dandy Yeah, uh, because nothing says uh gin blossoms quite like a Dimebag Daryl yeah, Washburn. Man. Ready to go into battle with this thing. Okay. I mean like and it's got eights on it. The podium. Oh really? Put on, yeah. You put eights on the dime? So that's he did so <laughs> what you guys don't know is that I was sitting at my desk this is a funny story. So, uh, Pody's going to help me tell it. Okay. So, I was sitting at my desk, <laughs> and I thought, you remember when I asked you if you changed my strings on my guitar like yeah. a couple days ago? And I was like, and I was like, I don't have the time. Right. Yeah. I was like, I was like, did Dan just like, because st- sometimes person, I like to do that. Right, yeah. The, the, I find it relaxing. You were the only person, you were the only person who, who came to mind when I thought of that. That's the only culprit. <laughs> and I was like, who? Who like came in, and then I just assumed I had a string angel, which I do. You do, and his and name is Pody. Brian Pody. Yeah, yeah, and it's and I was I would expect nothing less, but it was it was uh it was kind of that's funny, it was unexpected. But he strung them with eights, and I just didn't know because I play nines most of the time, right? So like playing, wow, eights, I feel like Superman today. He yeah, was like, hee, 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 I'm gonna mess with Sam. And <laughs> yeah, he was exactly. Like, yeah, so we we have this huge pack of eight gauge strings in the closet that I don't right. think anyone had ever touched so I was like hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna do it before <laughs> Sam gets in one day I'm gonna put eights on his guitar and he's gonna be like what the hell is going on here are these oh. is this the blue package it's uh, purple oh no purples are elevens mm. no I think it's the blue I think you're right I think it's, it's the, the blue, light blue. Cause, yeah because it's okay. pink is nines and then there's yeah, like sure. a light blue oh. but I was wondering what it was called like Ridiculously slinky, or yeah, something like, like that. Something like super, that. super, yeah. like ultra slinky. Ultra slinky. So, oh yeah, so, maybe it's super slinky. So Sam gets in that day after I've strung his guitar up, <laughs> and I think he's gonna be like, "This thing's broken. What's going on?" <laughs> and I keep looking over, and he sits across from me. I keep looking over, going, "Well, he's." Nothing's happening. He's not noticing anything. What's going on? And I let an entire week go by until I said, "Hey Sam, what do you think about those strings?" And he's like, "Oh, you're the one." That who was you. The strings. Thank you. I'm like, "Yeah, our, oh, that was the worst prank ever." Yeah, <laughs> our, our practical jokes are first of all really kind-hearted, and yeah, second was, of all, sometimes <laughs> take a week to sink in. Was, yeah, it wasn't like a whoopee cushion, you know? It right. Was like yeah. a, it was uh-huh. like a, it was like here's let me do something incredibly hey, nice man. for you. Yeah, new like, strings. These strings haven't been changed for so long, and they're so <laughs> dead and grungy that I didn't even notice that they were like. You know, man. You know, bending super far. So Brian Pody. I'll try harder crazy. next time. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I kind of. <laughs> I bought myself a ticket to. Uh, to What's not your fun- address? Yeah, you know my address. All you right. Could, oh, actually, no, you don't know my new address. So. Oh, hey, let's play uh, "Hey Jealousy" by Gin Blossoms on eights. Billy Gibbons plays eights. Do you know that? Sevens. Is it, does he, he plays play sevens? sevens? I it was seven and a half. Oh, oh maybe. Maybe. Well, you know, maybe he, he, he has a custom goes between them. Gauge that you can. I don't know who the takeaway is. is amazing tone is not necessarily about having heavy strings. Actually, yeah, that's very true. Some people I'm thinking about here we go. it is on a guitar now. Oh, uh, we don't have any audio. Yeah, we don't have uh, any audio. I'd like to start this again if we can. No. See. Sorry. This is this is what happens when we engage Pody in uh, in conversation. <sighs> Okay, hey, real song now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was for funny. I was working in college radio when this came out, so it was superfluous. It was like everywhere, ubiquitous, not superfluous.
I did practice this before, I swear. Me too. You can believe that. I'm glad I saved it for the last song so we can finish strong. <laughs> Just trying to beat Shane, man. That's not going to happen, though. We have another giveaway coming up after this, too, so if you're still sticking around, you still have a chance to win some Freighter and Ball That's here. a good reason to stick around. both dedicate this to Elisa and apologize to Elisa. <laughs> sorry, Elisa. Don't, don't judge me before you move I'm doing, I'm doing. I'm so sorry. I'm doing my part to uh, mess up this pretty straightforward and fun bass line. Played the uh, pre chorus riff correctly once. That's all I had to do. I did it wrong. I did it all wrong, Sam. Huh? Sorry. Oh. You were in the moment. I yeah. know. I didn't mean to take you out of that moment. Freaking scoot me out. That of is it, a dude. really, really fun song. I, it, I just ah. Uh. And yeah, it totally sounds like the '90s. Like it sounds the, like the '90s. Yeah. Yeah. Or like it, it's like you know. Right before like Bush, right? Like yeah. that, that sound. You know <laughs> that when I think of like you know '90s bands, they're like your typical 90s the sound of the 90s right it's like a lot of that open string and like ringy stuff and it's got that like it's just the tone yeah it's Something got a certain it. chiminess to yeah, it that, yeah yeah uh, very much like 90s stuff yeah so. catchy as heck yeah indeed. uh hey so uh you know what that means it's time for our last giveaway <gasps> no it's okay you knew it was coming i did everybody knows it's coming because it's part of the standard show and the standard show includes some some standard prizes that are above your standards. Raise your standards with our Ernie Ooh. Ball. Hey, thank you very much. Raise your standards with our Ernie Ball prize pack. Everything you see here is going to go to somebody's mailbox. Could it be yours? It will uh, if you win and you give us all the correct information. Uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> Everything that you see here is part of our Ernie Ball prize pack. Uh, you get a brand new uh, Ernie Ball guitar strap. Always good to have a spare. You get a peg winder, which makes changing your strings easier. And to prove it, we'll give you some new strings to change. Uh, not eights. We're going to give you tens for what it's worth. Regular slinkies are tens. And then uh, the regular slinky bass for those of you who are out on, on bass guitar with a low E of a 105. Pretty standard middle-of-the-road gauge. You can do a lot with that. Uh, some uh, Ernie Ball Wonder Wipes, which will keep your guitar minty fresh and nice and clean. Try them out if you haven't. Uh, and a dozen of Ernie Ball's picks. And then three of our picks with the Rocksmith logo on them. Uh, only available here. We do not sell these. We only give them away. 
uh, here on the show. And occasionally, if you see one of us in person, we might have some in our pocket. Uh, but uh, all of that can be yours. Follow Jason Paradise's advice and instructions in our chat room right now. And uh, we gave away one at the beginning of the hour. We'll give away a one now. And, of course, we will give away some more next week. We will also have some to give away on our special holiday stream. So a reminder, next week, Thursday, normal stream, normal time, no problem. Show up here 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. GMT at the moment because of the way that America's clocks are working uh, for next week's DLC featuring the music in next week's DLC pack. <gasps> and uh, we will give you a hint about what exactly that is tomorrow in our forums at rocksmith.com. Uh, that is, uh, I, I've, I've seen the puzzle. Have fun with that one, folks. Uh, RS-222 has come up with another interesting approach. I would never have thought to approach this DLC pack through the way that he is doing it. So maybe you will be on his wavelength. It's fun. You get a chance to hang out with other Rocksmith fans in our forums and work together to solve a puzzle and give yourself a little bit of information early. Uh, so that'll be tomorrow. And then, of course, Thursday, we will do a live stream for that pack uh, like we're doing right now. And then Friday at 1 o'clock, which is two hours earlier, as Pody pointed out, than we normally would do, and a day later, uh, 1 o'clock to probably about 4 o'clock Pacific, uh, we will be doing an extra-long monster stream. Uh, Ten songs of uh, various note trackers are picking a song that they wanted to play again or play for the first time. Maybe they didn't get a chance to. Um, or maybe they just, you know, like, couldn't figure out how to do Tornado of Souls. So Anthony's going to play Tornado of Souls. Anthony's going to do it. He is. Do you want to give away what song you've chosen, or do you want to keep it as a surprise? It's totally up to you. Um... I kind of well, I, we didn't get to do it on the stream uh, ever because it was Rocksmith Live Week. That's right. So, so I wanted to, I wanted to make sure that you guys got to see some Yes this year, uh, and it's one of Shane's favorite bands. So he and I are going to play um, Starship Trooper, and, there you it, go. and actually that song means a lot to me just because a it was super hard, and b <laughs> yes. uh, it, it taught me a lot. It taught me how to do Travis picking, uh, and I'll show I'll, I'll do sure. like a little demo of how I learned how to do it through transcribing the song. Sure. Um, so Excellent. Yeah. So there's two songs we have to look forward to. Plus, we're giving away prizes from Marshall. We're giving away uh, prizes <laughs> from South Park. We're giving away some Rocksmith Live memorabilia that you cannot get anywhere else yeah. and probably will never be able to get again. Uh, and uh, our grand prize, I can actually tell you now, is an orange... Uh, actual guitar amplifier. We have a, a practice amp that Orange has sent us. We gave one away last year. We still have another one. So it's uh, it's the CRX20, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure, but you know what? I'll start advertising this next week, and I'll send out some photos of the kind of stuff that we're giving away. Uh, Ernie Ball has sent us not only our standard prizes, but some additional prizes as well. I'm happy to say that we'll be giving away a power peg. I'm a really big fan of their power peg. Ooh. It makes changing strings easier. I changed the strings on my 12-string acoustic recently, and I was never like so happy. Six to minutes have, and you're yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> never so happy to have an automated uh, uh, a mechanical uh, string winder uh, yeah. with a battery pack in it uh, than I was uh, at that time. So uh, we've got lots of free stuff to give you, and it's a great way for us to uh, to kick off the holidays as well. And we will be streaming uh, the week uh, after that, which is December twenty second, I believe. Is that correct? Or is you're yeah. asking the wrong guy? I can barely oh, okay. count to four. Do yes. You? The DLC comes out on the 20th. That'll be our last DLC of the year. We will be taking the following week off, so there'll be no new DLC on the 27th. Uh, and then uh, uh, we will pre-record the entire stream for the 22nd, so there will be a live show event using purely uh, you know, pre-recorded show. So you can ask all the questions you want, but I will not answer because I will be from the past. I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much where we are. Yeah, and stick with it, guys, because this year the DLC that's coming this year is there's still some it, good stuff coming. It's it's not like oh it's it's like it's it's really good, good stuff. You and you and, will recognize. Yeah, it, this we, DLC. we're still pumping it out. Like yep, yeah, <laughs> and we have some fun surprises on tap for January too. Yeah, so well that's yeah the fun. I can't say the fun never stops because we're taking a week off, but the fun barely stops. The fun takes vacations. The fun gets one <laughs> week off to enjoy the, the end of this year, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. So uh, hopefully we will see you next week for one or both streams. If you need any more information about that, just follow us on Twitter, at Rocksmith Game. Go over to Facebook, slash Rocksmith. Uh, that'll take you to uh, where all of our information lives, and you can always ask us questions. We're happy to hear from you. Thank you so much for showing up for our stream. My name is Dan Amrick. I'm the community developer on behalf of Rocksmith 2014 Remastered. And uh, thank you, Sam, for oh. all of your hard work and Dude. all of your excellent playing. Dude, 
Thank you, Dan, for making nope. this a this a show, man. <laughs> Look at you go. You're like a you're like a like I just cranked you up and you just yep. kept rolling until and we were like, wow, I just don't I cranked yeah. him three times. No, and we're it done. was like an hour and a half. We're done. I need to go get some painkillers. Okay. I'm gonna go enjoy sitting. Right. You enjoy this trailer. We'll see you next week. Bye everybody. With my tail in the air Straight cat strut I'm a ladies cat I'm a bee like Casanova Hey, man, that's that Get a shoe thrown at me From a mean old man Get my dinner from a garbage can